I have put the eggs in to boil and then after they boil we'll get to making our bloody eyed devil eggs. Boil, boil, boil. I'm going to let those boil for 11 minutes. I know some people boil them for, for a little bit less time but I always tend to err on the, the well done side. <laughs> Because I've had some soft boiled eggs that, you know, I, and I don't like that. So, here we go. I've got water ready to go, uh, icing down in the freezer so that I'll shock them after they're done and we'll be ready to use them. Okay, 11 minutes has passed. We've turned off the heat. I'm going to drain as much water as I can out of Then I'm going to get my tub of water out of there. Pour it in there. Hopefully I got all that. That I'll shock it'll make them easier to peel. And for right now I'm gonna put the eggs in the refrigerator to uh, to set and let them cool down. I gotta go buy some olives anyway, and we'll get right back to creating those bloody eyeballs. Okay, we boiled the eggs, we cooled them off. Now we're gonna take six cups of hot water. Four. And six. Then we're taking vinegar, the distilled white, and We're going to use just a tablespoon. A tablespoon. No, that's a teaspoon. Here's a tablespoon. You started to read as you get old. Okay, and we're going to dump that in the water. Then we're going to take the red food coloring. And we're going to, uh, this might be all of it. We're going to do two tablespoons of the red food coloring. That's essentially all I have, so we'll have to deal with one, but the, you should be doing two. Looks like a bloody mess. Right. Okay. Now, we will take an egg. Now normally like when you're coloring eggs for Easter or something like that, you're just going to put the egg in there. But what we want to do before we place it in there, is we want to go ahead and crack the egg, little pieces all around. And we're going to, before we put one in, we're going to crack them all. So, so they all go in at the same time, and so that when we time them, they'll be all timed in at the same time. And I hope I'm not cracking them too much, but I'm only going to go with three. Because I can always try again. This is the first time I've tried this.
So, we're going to put one egg in there, two eggs in there, three eggs in there. And we're going to let that stand for 30 minutes since they're not uh, fully covered. I hope you heard me. We're gonna let these stand in the in the uh, food coloring for 30 minutes. But since they're not fully covered, we're going to add more hot water until they are. And there we go. And then I will see you again 30 minutes from now. Okay, the alarm's gone off. I'm gonna take one of my my big forks. Uh, and a fork, it's a spoon, you idiot. All right, my big spoon, <laughs> and I'm going to fish the eggs out of the dye and place them on my prepared place to place them. And then I'm going to dispose of the, uh, of the dye. Just a word of warning, when you empty the, <laughs> the dye out into your sink, it makes you look like you killed Kool-Aid and his blood is everywhere. So just be careful emptying that out. I'm going to peel these and then I'll be right back. Okay. It came out pretty good. Got a nice uh, veiny pattern. Though, when you peel them, since I cracked it all over like that, it is awfully hard to uh, to peel. So you do wind up losing little gouges and stuff sometimes too. This one came out better, if you can see that. Do, do, do. So, uh, instead of I'm going to do one here. Instead of actually um, putting them lengthwise, we're going to cut them widthwise. And I'm just going to cut the tips off so they, they sit a little bit better. And I'm going to take out the insides, put them in a plastic baggie little sandwich baggie where I'm going to mesh up the, the yolks with my mustard and mayonnaise and seasonings and I'll just do those do that real quick all the cutting and slicing and I'll be right back in just a moment Some camera issues there but I filled the uh, the eggs with the piping bag basically my little sandwich bag and now I was going to use olives but since we're making these a little bit holler, hotter not holler um, I'm going to use sliced jalapenos and we're going to put one of those on each one look for the best one to make a little eye Mm, I don't like that one. There we go. And now I have those. And in the middle of that, we're going to actually. I know this seems sacrilegious to some people. But I'm going to fill the insides with just a tip with ketchup. Put 
too much in there. And there's probably too much ketchup in there. I did wash the hands, so. All right, and there we have our bloody-eyed deviled eggs. They don't look as great as I thought. I'll have to try that again sometime, but there you go.